So the quick tip today is more of a fix if you're crap at playing MIDI instruments. So I'm back with another quick tip. Every single day this month, a brand new music production tip, 31 days, 31 tips. And today it's a little bit of a helper really. If you have issues kind of playing your MIDI keyboard or your MIDI controller, then this might be able to help you. If you're like me, you kind of want to play your MIDI keyboard and you might want to play a certain velocity for every single note because you might be playing a Rhodes instrument, for example, and if you hit it too hard, then it's a little bit too sharp. You want it to be a bit softer, but trying to keep that same velocity throughout is quite difficult. Now you could dive into the settings of your controller and edit it from there, but there's actually a great way of doing it within Ableton. So let's jump in and have a look. So I've got a MIDI channel set up here with one of the inbuilt sounds within Ableton, this preset called Gold House. And I'm gonna play some notes in with my MIDI controller, the Pioneer Toraz Squid. Now, if we jump into this clip, you can see that the actual velocities are going all over the place. Now, depending on how hard I hit the pads on my MIDI controller will give me different velocities. And that obviously gives me different sounds within this instrument. And as you can see, the velocities go all over the place when I'm playing. So when I hit the pads quite softly, I get a nice soft sound. But when I hit it quite hard, a really kind of vastly different sound. Now, if I wanted that same kind of softness throughout, then I could go into here and I could adjust all those velocities on my own. I could go in there manually and do all that, but we don't even need to do that because there is an amazing MIDI effect within Ableton called Velocity. Now Velocity gives you a whole load of different options that allow you to kind of change the velocity that is coming in. So whatever velocity is played here goes through this MIDI effect and then into that instrument. So you can kind of adjust the velocity as it comes in. One of the greatest features of this is the ability to then set it as a fixed velocity. So if I set it as fixed, I can then adjust the actual velocity for every single note, which is great because then I can actually affect what sound I'm getting out of that instrument. This then allows me to get a more consistent sound over time if that's what I'm after. But I can also automate this knob as well, which allows me to then automate the velocity over time. So I can actually kind of create some interesting sweeps over time using velocity. So listening back to it, we can definitely hear the velocity affects the filter on that instrument. That's how it's set up with that particular instrument. And of course we could actually automate the filter on the device itself, but the velocity plugin obviously just gives you another road to go down, another option in case you can't figure out or don't wanna figure out how to do it on the actual device itself. So as you can see, this device is really simple, but it does the job very, very well. It kind of fills that kind of area of skill where I'm kind of lacking, where I kind of want to get that more consistent velocity when I'm playing my MIDI controller. It just helps me out. So definitely give it a go, see how it works out for you. And if this video has been useful to you, then definitely subscribe to the channel. I've got a whole load more videos like this on the way. As I say, every single day this month, a brand new music production tip. So definitely get subscribed, hit that notification icon so you're notified whenever that video lands. And hopefully, I'll see you again in the next video.